What's up Trusted Signals family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the currency strength meter. I spoke a little bit about it in our previous video when we went over how to set up Trusted Signals after being accepted, but this video is going to be solely dedicated to the currency strength meter, another one of my favorites. Don't forget, before we start this video, all I ask for is like and subscribe. Be sure to like, hit the subscribe button, stay up to date to all the videos that we have coming out, free information on how to use Trusted Signals, and stay up to date to all the updates and releases that are coming soon. All right, so enjoy this video and let's go. All right, so let's dive into this. The currency strength meter, it's one of my go-tos, like I said. Why? Because it really helps to have an idea which currencies outweighs the other. For instance, here we're looking at GJ. This is Great British Pound, Japanese Yen. And as you could see on our strength meter, JPY is here at the top and GBP is somewhere down here. So this is indicating that JPY is stronger and GBP is weaker. The way that this works is categorized by strongest to weakest. Obviously, the strongest is going to be at the top and the weakest is going to be at the bottom. Couple simple things that you could do with this strength meter is pull this up to view it all the way big. There's another way of doing that and it's right here on the right corner. If you click this, boom, now all of a sudden you have a full visual representation of the strength meter. It really helps to have an idea on which one is stronger than the other. Perfect example. Look at this sell signal on GJ. Look at this sell signal. With having the confirmation with this sell signal that's right here, that comes in live in real time, and clearly seeing that JPY is stronger then Great British Pound, it's a great idea to wait for your right entry and take the signal. You could have easily taken this trade just to be safe down to the previous support line. So if you don't know about support and resistance, be sure to check out our previous videos where we go in depth about how to use support and resistance. Anyways, I could have easily taken that trade to the support and exited right here. Stop loss would have been right around here. And boom, just like that. This is why the currency strength meter is so valuable. It's a great tool in your arsenal to have to know which currencies are performing stronger than the others. Now, I'm gonna put it maximized, poof, so we could go ahead and go into depth on how you can edit these settings. So to edit these settings on the currency strength meter, you wanna right click, right on it, and put settings. Now we're in the currency strength indicator settings. Here, you have your style, and you could change your colors to your liking. Let's say if you want Great British Pound to be a certain color, or if you want Japanese Yen to be a certain color, you can go ahead and do that. And you could even change the type of price line. Now, in inputs, this is another great thing about this tool. You could show only current pairs. By hitting this, check this out. Boom, there you go. Now, we're only looking at Japanese Yen and Great British Pound. We're not being distracted by all these other currencies that we're currently not trading. There are some people who do like to have multiple charts and are charting up on multiple charts I personally suggest that you stick to one to two max. So if you're sticking to one to two charts, you're gonna be more focused, you're gonna be more dialed in, and your performance is gonna be better. If you're going to be looking at Great British Pound and Japanese Yen, it would be a good idea for you to just look at these two pairs. 
Now, there are some currency pairs that coincide with each other and there's confluence between them, meaning, for example, if AUD is strong, it's more than likely that China is also strong. Why? Because they have economic agreements together and economic trade. But I'm not going to go so deep in which currencies coincide with each other and which ones have confluence. I'm strictly going into the currency strength indicator. All right. Now, to go back to the settings, again, click these little blue dots, right click, settings, boom. Now you're back in here. You can make it light or dark. I prefer to have light. And again, in this, the more you look back, the more the indicator will analyze the past and show you in a chart. So obviously you want it to do its job as much as possible. So keep the length as high as possible for it to look back as much as possible. Now the lines width is pretty straightforward. You want it thick or do you want it thin? So I just leave it at default. The reason why I like to leave things at default, there was a extreme amount of calculation effort to make these tools with what we believe are the best settings. Now, each trader is a little different, so that's why we make the settings fully customizable. You're able to go ahead and dive deep into these tools and figure out what works best for you. This is a great thing about Trusted Signals. You're not stuck with one setting. And also, we have users who share their settings on our Discord chat. So you can easily sign up, be a part of the chat, hear what other people have to say, and people are sharing their settings. People are literally giving you their settings on how they are profitable. And we have more than 300 people on our Discord on a daily basis, sharing profits, sharing their success. So what are you waiting for? I have no idea. I could care less about what other people say about other indicators. This is the number one go-to. All right, so let's go ahead and just hit okay. I set it back to default. The really cool thing about this is being able to minimize it and then focus back into your chart game. That's it for now. That was the currency strength meter. I hope you like these videos. I hope you find this information very valuable. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe our videos. And we're going to have more coming to you soon. Team Trusted Signals, let's go!